probably noticed how time flies and suddenly your kids are grown and you're not that young either. You start to understand how old people feel. How sad is to realize that you don't have much time on this planet. Time is the only thing we can get back. It's sad to see some people use up their time as it never ends. They stand in front of the store for many hours just to get free stuff that you can buy for $2 or sleeping the whole night in front of the Apple store just to be first in line to buy the newest iPhone. How crazy is that? How valuable is your time? Is it $2 per hour? Are you really worth that? If you know that you have one day to live, will you still be standing in line for hours to get some free hamburgers or some other free shit that you can buy for one dollar? I don't think so. Then you will be very aware of how you use your time. You will, all of a sudden, value your time. Let's talk about how you spend your time. Are you someone who hates your job but still commutes many hours daily? How about your evenings? Are you tired of hating your job that you don't have the energy to play with your kids or do what you really enjoy? Do you have a loving relationship? Are you sincerely happy? Just by finding out what you want from life, you can have everything you need and want. Stop yourself. Don't do anything. Time is ticking. Listen to your heart, what you want, before it's too late. Write down what makes you happy. What is the job that you will enjoy doing? How much free time do you want? How do you want to raise your kids? Where do you want to live? What does your perfect life look like? Imagine it. Feel it. You can have what you want, you just have to stop running and stop doing things for no reason. The key is not spending time, but invest in it. You need to be aware of how you're using your time, because your future will look just like that. It's all about what you do every day. The sad thing is that sometimes we don't even realize what we're doing because it's happening on autopilot. Mostly it's our habits that are creating our life. Did you know that 95% of our thoughts and behavior come from our subconscious mind? and only 5% comes from our conscious mind. So start noticing what you do every day. Write everything you do on paper so you can analyze your actions. Only then you can start changing your habits, behavior and your life. You must either modify your dreams or magnify your skills. Comment down below your thoughts.